get my face tattooed tomorrow. Look at my eyes. I I don't get bags under my eyes, but holy crap, my eyes are fucked up. Wow. <laughs> I was really sick last night, so you can obviously tell. Man, just said my face is fucked up too. Let's cover that up. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna get my spider redone. I have shaved the side of my head, ish, not completely, but I shaved this bit. So this is what it's looking like. The spider web was supposed to go all the way here, but it's not. And the spider, when my hair is down, it's it's not visible. And I want it to be visible. It's even like that, it's not really visible. So, like this, um, I want uh, the spider web to go up this way and meet my hairline probably come out like this and then get this made a bit bigger and then I don't know um, maybe right here at another one or even right here going up here no probably I think right about here I don't want it to be too ugh, I would just like it to be you know visible what the hell is that? that's all I just want it to be seen right here would have been the ideal spot for it but then, if I get skinny, it looks like I'll have a cheekbone here. So, I don't really want it to sit right in there. Or maybe I do. Maybe that would be a good idea. I'm not really sure. But, if I was skinny enough, I'm kind of liking that look. I used to have my head shaved when I was younger. The sides of my hair. And, uh, I would, like, shave this back, all the way back here. And then get like a cool tattoo back here, but my face is always way too fat for that. But it's me and my fucking spiders. But imagine having something like that. Boom. That would look badass. Um, so yeah. I wanted to do a before and an after. So there's your before. And I'll catch up with the after. After. Look at my eyes. Woo.
my makeup and <clears throat> without the light on I, I do a lot less under here now than I used to and this gives it extra sparkle this is a beautiful candy apple red color I love this so much and my contacts are they're like pink and gray or something with glitter you can kind of you can see the glitter in it now and of course the glitter is inside the lens it's not rubbing against your eye like some people think and so I am ready to go I'm gonna have a smoke with Josh when I get him up and then we will get ready to go and then I will do a catch up after this is done and hopefully it'll be good I'm not feeling it too much at the moment because I haven't been able to get in touch with anybody there and it kind of seems like they're not nobody around here is very nice like all the the um, tattoo studios seem to be pretty rude and it's been hard enough just finding these people to go to because it's actually illegal in the state of South Carolina to get a face or head tattoo which is stupid I mean I get it that they're looking out for you but really you should be allowed to make your own decisions and yeah so it's been a nightmare just trying to find anybody who can do it and who will be good at it because it's right there on my face I want it to look nice and um but they're just everybody here seems to have some major fucking attitude and it gets old like trying to write and write and they're just like it's it's below them to want to do something so small in somebody they just want the big money but they don't realize that giving people what they want will have return service and they'd get a lot more work out of you if you're happy in the first place but whatever I will do a catch up after this is done we are 25 minutes away where's Josh there's Josh <laughs> we're 25 minutes away from the appointment and I'm not scared I should be scared I don't get scared of tattoos anymore I've gotten them too many times I used to be really fucking scared like whenever I was close to going and getting like my heart would start thumping and I'd be like oh my god I'm so freaked out and start feeling like panicky I don't get like that anymore got my mask ready because you have to wear masks I don't know how they're gonna really kind of get to the side of my face with a mask on but I just got out of my appointment. Um, it was actually, I, I was kind of worried because I thought that they were mean and stuff, but in person they are so nice. The tattoo artist, uh, Matt, he's really nice. The owner's wife was there. She's so nice. She was like following me around and taking so pictures and <laughs> telling me I was beautiful. I look like a princess and taking pictures and video. She's, she's so sweet. But we had a great time. We found a new um, permanent tattoo shop to go to. He helped me out massively. He jacked like he, he jacked up the uh, drawing and he made like a much bigger better version of what I ever could have thought I wanted it went quite big and like you can see part of it there it went quite big and like wow but you know what I went small last time I went big this time and when my hair is down it'll be covered but I have to wear my hair back so that it doesn't touch it and this is it now that is a spider tattoo Josh is there the whole time like oh my god that is amazing that looks 
so good and he filled in this for me too in my throat and uh wow that is just so beautiful i'm so happy with that and um it looks so much better than it did before and i'm i'm super stoked it's impressive as hell and uh yeah so we're gonna be going back there and getting more work done whenever we can afford it but for now yeah <laughs>